Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will create a view for my controller and model. In my previous video tutorial, I have guided you how you can create model and controller. And now, we create a view and associate that with this model and controller. Before going forward to views, let me explain you that this is a view and if you don't want to use a view, you can also change the type of views like this is action result. When user tried some action, the result will given by the view and we can also give that by a string message like I will change the method into string and uh, hey how are you now uh, I am going to execute my application in Chrome here it show me the address by which I can access that access this controller like slash student after the domain name of application like this is the domain name of application after for a slash I have to write the name of the controller which is student and when I hit enter it will automatically goes to the index of that controller so the index of student controller represent this thing and if I will say I don't want to use index but an other page I can simply have to add an other page like I will say it's start now the address become forward slash student slash start okay now uh, you are now in start now execute the application and here is the simple controller name and after the controller name I have to write the name of the method which is start and hit enter and it say that you are now in start so refresh this here we are in the student index and here in the student sub function or the method now this is the part of the video now create a simple view uh, stop the execution control C okay and here is the view so it's saying me that there is no view available right now so click on index and say add a view okay so the index name view is automatically added uh, now I have to say that uh, empty without model the template which I want to add or something else I can create uh, the create mean it will give me facility of a form with all the attributes which are available in the model like we have name password confirm password and email it will provide me a form with all that all those attributes to just enter my data and hit enter to save into the database that's called scaffolding I click here and now it's asking me for the model class and my model class is student model class and now 
uh, I click add leave empty if is set in razor okay so I want to use the default layout and click add now what happened uh, the index page is automatically created uh, this is saying okay it's now working fine so here is the controller name student which creates a index class uh, with all the attributes which we have created in the model now uh, execute this index now I am only executing no okay converting system to string okay so here we have to change string into action results and now execute now it's working fine uh, sorry I forgot to change the name of the action listener now again what I will do like previously I am calling the student controller and now student controller is called the default index page is the page for creating data okay like I will click create so it will redirect it to the create page uh, like I stop and uh, here is the index page which is used to create the data now go to the controller and add uh, simple uh, here is a simple view which we can change anytime like I will say that change this button and what to do I am using a razor syntax at HTML dot label 4 and in label 4 I declare the value of the model like I want to create a label for name and then text field for the name attribute of my student model and here uh, parenthesis and here I have to uh, write the name of a model like M of M dot and uh, here we have attach a model it's not working so it's a model model dot dot name of attribute and after the comma you can add a class new in new you can use parentheses like this and class is equal double code quotation code md-2 and uh, control dash label for the class and now uh, type of names with definition or okay I think it's work so instead of that we have to use uh, add sign uh, now it will be fine now it's working fine and now I'm going to execute that uh, uh, in my browser here uh, execute in the browser and here you can observe student is a controller and index is the view and the method of that controller which representing now the label for the name here is the label for the name is name and uh, next 
uh, for this I'm going to add uh, the text box like uh, here I can say at HTML dot text box for the same code will work here and I will uh, neglect the class and name it as form control form control and click save and now refresh this and it will create a text field for the attribute name by getting the value from the model which is added on the top of the screen which is a student model here is the model uh, name and email and password and confirm password will be the same as we have created this one couple attribute I hope this video tutorial regarding uh, binding of view model and controller is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel to get more amazing video tutorials on asp.net take care bye bye